Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Success Engineering Official. Today we are going to learn about duct design and duct sizing. You can see here there is one simple layout, ducting layout I have made and we will design, we will size the duct for the main duct. So before I start this video, I would like to request you to please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start now. You can see here I have this ducting layout. In this layout you can see here this, this, this is the package here in air conditioning unit. 7000 CFM deliver and this is main duct. can see here this is main duct and this is branch duct ok and these are air terminals See here, these are air terminals. These are air terminals called diffuser, ceiling diffuser. This is ceiling diffuser four way. You can see here this uh, total CFM for this machine is package air conditioning unit is 7000 CFM it will deliver and uh, it will supply 1000 1000 each diffuser and then 5000 CFM is here. Again, it will supply 1000 in, in these two diffuser, and uh, remaining CFM is 3000 passing through this main duct. Again, supplying 1000 in each di these two diffuser, and 1000 CFM is passing through this duct and supplying 500 in these two diffuser. Okay. <coughs> So there are three method, method of duct designing, it's equal friction method, constant velocity method, a static rigging method. So first method we are using in most of the actual practice, we are using this equal friction method, 90% in the actual practice we are using this equal friction method only for uh, generally for commercial and residential building so let's start now the how to size and how to design the duct you can see here uh, I have made one simple format for duct size I, we have to record all the size here from this short uh, we have the mac so we have to design with the mac uh, using mac duct sizer uh, so there is one duct sizing software and this is free of course you can see here this is macro duct sizer software this is looks like work like calculator simple calculator so simply click on this you can click here simply <coughs> I have icon also here you simply click and open this design tools you can see this is provided by microwave 
you can download from this website this is free of cost free of cost software i have opened this software what you you will do first of all you have to say, uh, set the unit you can see here uh, just simply click here on the unit you can change from here see now this uh, this is in the this unit is in the imperial system you can see a flow rate given in the cfm head loss inches of water is per 100 feet velocity in feet per minute and duct size in inches so if you change the unit simply click on the unit and make it okay it will change in the metric system so you can see here this flow rate rate is in liter per second head loss pascal per meter velocity meter per second and equivalent diameter is in mm and duct size also in mm so before i start the duct designing with micro duct size here, first of all we have to do some setting so you can see here there is one drop down button just click here and set the condition so our condition is 25 degree air temperature at 50 degree RH and one atmospheric pressure. So this is the room condition, indoor home and comfort condition. 25 degree temperature, 50 percent RH and one atmospheric pressure. And then, so to change the unit, make it in. Select this 75 degree Fahrenheit. At 50 degree, 50 percent relative humidity and what one atmosphere present. Okay, now simply uh, to design with equal friction method, simply select these two parameters flow rate and head loss. The head loss is constant in the in actual practice. We are considering 0 0.08 inches of water. As you can see here the velocity range for residential, commercial, and industrial building given here you can see velocity range 700 to 900 feet per minute for residential for commercial 1000 to 1300 feet per minute and for industrial 1200 to 1800 feet per minute and friction loss is for residential 0 0.01 to 0 0.07 commercial 0 0.07 to 0 0.1 and industrial 0.1 to 0.15 inches of water waste per 100 feet So let's start uh, the designing now. Let's see the, uh, the ceiling height, duct height, duct height equal to 14 inch or 16 inch, 16 inch. HM, HM Assuming the ceiling duct height is 16 inch, there is some assumption also. 16 is, inch is assuming as per the clearance above fall ceiling. For example, this is I am designing for the commercial building hotel project. <coughs> so, this commercial building, for example, this room is this room is. There is fall ceiling room having fall ceiling and the clearance above the fall ceiling is one meter. One meter means three point two eight feet into twelve inch. So you can see thirty nine inch is clearance. So I am I am considering the under height sixteen inch only. So let's start now duct designing with make way duct sizer open this duct sizer and simply put the flow rate here you can see in this drawing the flow rate is total flow rate is 7000 cfm uh, 
and simply putting the flow rate here simply enter the known value so I am putting the known value 7000 then net loss is 0 0.08 we consider in actual practice for equal friction method so this head loss is constant throughout the duct designing 0 0.08 is keep it keep constant and another known value is the duct height we, we, we are putting the height here 16 inch so you can get the other value see the width is 52 inch so just check the aspect ratio <coughs> 52 divided by 16 3.25 aspect ratio is considering 1 is to 4 so it is acceptable you can see here the head loss is 0 0.08 inches of water base per 100 feet of duct length and this is the velocity 1395 feet per minute you can see here this is a commercial commercial building so velocity is 1000 to 1300 can take here 1000 to 1500 feet per minute you can see 1000 to 1500 and 1200 to 1800 this is as per the carrier or as per the ashray standard you can see here our velocity is in, is under range 395 and equivalent diameter is 30.3 inch and this is the duct size this is the duct height 16 inch and this is the width of the duct so just simply enter here you can see this is the duct size and duct size for the section A and B see 7000 is passing through this main duct from A to B the duct size is you can see here simply put the duct size here a to B so first we are putting width so 52 inch by 16 inch head loss is constant so 0 0.08 head loss is keep constant Now section B to C. You have to see here from B to C. We are designing the main duct only, not branch. The branch will design later. So B to C total CFM is 5000 CFM. So simply put here change the CFM value 5000. You can get the other value. The duct size we are getting 16 inch by 39 inch so we always consider the higher even value not odd value so 39 you you make it make a round of 40 so 16 inch by 14 inch 40 inch b to c 40 inch by 16 inch now c to d you see here C2D the total CFM is 3000 1000 delivered in these two branches 1000 1000 so balance is 3000 so simply put here 3000 you can get the duct size 16 inch by 26 inch you simply record here 26 inch by 16 inch Now next branch, next uh, section, D to E, so 1000 CFM, you simply put here 1000, you, you are getting 16 inch by 11 inch, so just make uh, this, uh, just uh, adjust this height, make it 14, so you are getting 14 by 13, so consider always 14 always even value and higher value show 14 inch by 14 inch 14 inch by 
14 inch. We can decrease the height, but we cannot increase the height. So you can see here, this is how we are designing for the main duct. How we are sizing the main duct and how we are designing the main duct with uh, using micro duct sizer in the actual practice. So I hope you guys learn from this video. So please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So in the next uh, tutorial we will learn how to design the branch sizing branch duct size. So we will see in the next video how to design the branch duct size. So please like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you. Bye bye.